One of the most important strokes that you can make in a drift boat, because of the reason that, that the boat is designed to pivot in the center, where most boats have a keel on them that goes down the center or a rib that goes down the center of the boat, they're designed to, to kind of go around things with power, where in a drift boat you're needing to change directions of the bow of the boat so that the design of the boat works for you. So a cross stroke is one that you put one oar behind you, one oar in forward, forward position, and then you just reverse that position. Lift your oars out of the water before you get to the end of the stroke and that way it lets your boat continue on around in an angle. If you want to go the opposite direction, you pull with your right and push with your left. And so when these are out to the furthest position, you should have at least two inches in between the oars. Reason for that is if these two oars are here and you happen to start out here, when you go forward then it just pinches your thumbs right in between there and you could actually do some real damage to your thumbs. So you always want to make sure that when the oars are sitting totally level in the boat that you got position that there's, they're not going to come anywhere close to each other. Even if they happen to be here and you've got your oar stops in the right place, as soon as you get to this position they'll just shove out and eliminate you doing damage to your thumbs. The front storage is big enough that you can put numerous things in it. Some of the things that you want to make sure is incorporated in your boat is extra clothing so that if it's raining and you get wet or you happen to fall in the river while you're fishing you trip and stumble. Uh, it's nice to have another set of clothes to be able to go to. We have an emergency kit so that in case you uh, injure yourself and aspirins and Tylenol and different things like that as well as numerous bandages which can be used uh, for the help of those that might be injured. We also put in a life jacket. should have a life jacket for each person in the boat. Uh, make sure that they understand where it is. Some rivers you're required to have this on all of the time, other rivers you're not. Uh, if you don't know how to swim and you feel intimidated by the water, make sure you put one on. On, on trailers, which is something that you always want to look for when you're buying a trailer is whenever you're pulling your boat on have rollers on the back because most generally the current's going to want to take your boat off to the side and so these these will help guide you on that you're always going to hit rubber before you uh, hit the the finish of the boat we have rubber rollers here and rubber rollers here a lot of times when you bring your boat on it's coming in at this angle and this is going to hit the front of your boat and then guide it on so it's really important to have a good roller here. Tie down locks. We have clearance lights on all of the trailers. Uh, this particular trailer is galvanized. They come in black, galvanized, painted, whatever way that you like. And then look for a good step. So when you're getting ready to get in the boat, you've got an easy access to be able to step on in and get any accessories out of your boat that you care to do. These two boats are approaching a diversion channel, which is an ever-present danger on western rivers. Though marked by a rather faded danger sign, a rower must constantly be aware and stay in the main channel of the river. There's a several foot drop here, plus no way out on the other end, even if you survive the drop. Head gates, you can see the two head gates. They pull a lot of water out of those, and uh, this particular one straight ahead of us takes half of the river out at one time. And so uh, you want to make sure that you avoid situations like this. So you want to make sure that you know which way the river turns. And as we get to it, on this particular one, we're going to take a river right. And so we want to be close to the bank on the right-hand side so we have plenty of time to be able to move into position to go around the corner. You can just kind of maneuver down through these rocks and just kind of pick your spot. Know that uh, as long as you've got your angles and so forth right, you can move right down through the middle of them. i got a big right rock right here in front of me. Get my angle, or a little bit of a cushion in front of it that I use for my boat, and it, see, it just kind of takes me off around the side of that rock. So don't get too excited when you're going down through them. Just kind of move with consistency and keep your eyes open for what you're going to run into. 
can't get around the rock completely. Sometimes you're going to have to just bump into it. That'll stop your momentum. And just pull off to the side. Do a little bit of a drag. Pull your boat off to the side and away you go.